So uh, now I tell the story of uh, Magma Museum and uh, uh, to introduce it, I think that it's better to play uh, and a video uh, to understand where Fulonica is. Thank you, Blake. <music> Polonica is a unique, dynamic and innovative town rising in an ancient land, Tuscany. It nestles in an extraordinary landscape in the middle of the gulf between Piombino and Punta Ala, in front of the island of Elba. It was built a little over 160 years ago to produce steel and cast iron with avant-garde technology in the same place where long ago the Etruscans forged metal. The future has always been at home in Folonica and it's so even today as the city renews itself and finds new avenues of development. In 2014, redevelopment projects for 24 million euro were completed, the foundation to attract important investments in real estate and business ventures. Parco Centrale, formerly Villaggio Ilva, is one of the cornerstones of this process of change. Surrounded by luscious green, its old industrial buildings are now finding their new vocations. The building, once known as Foundry 2, now houses Leopolda, a grand facility designed by Vittorio Gregotti. A new multi-purpose centre for stage shows, cultural events, conferences and conventions. Inside Foundry 1, a first-class facility has been built to house national and international fairs and exhibitions. In the same area, there also is a building designed for companies offering digital services and advanced IT, especially aimed at supporting tourism, as well as the fruit, vegetables, wine and food trade. All this integrated in a very lively cultural environment. In Parco Centrale, you may visit the Magma, Museum of Cast Iron Art, a tribute to the town's history and know-how. While the public library is a true centre of cultural integration. Parco Centrale also provides a special connection with the exceptional area surrounding it. Rich in history, working culture and a natural environment unique to Italy. Here lies the entrance to the Geoparco of Grosseto's so-called metal-bearing hills, a vast area of international touristic interest stretching all the way to the Apennines. Okay, so Magma. Magma was opened in 2013 and was conceived to tell the technological, artistic and human story of Folonica Iron Works in its heyday at the peak of its production at the middle of 19th century. The exhibition starts uh, on the first floor with a selection of elaborated wooden patterns that represent the collection, which is, which is the true wealth of the Magma Museum. The school of ornamental drawings was established by Grand Duke Leopold II, whose plan was to transform the Maremma iron work into a leading center a leading center of research and development. And this is a very great idea, no. okay? Because uh, Maremma is a desert land in the middle of 19th century, uh, devastated by the uh, malaria disease. So the idea to transform this uh, factory uh, in a modern and uh, leading center for technical production and also in artistic and design field. The craftsmen realized many important buildings, uh, such as the, the principal church of Folonica in the lower part of the picture, and the, the big gate, like main entrance of the factory. So they are today and uh, in the past, uh, an example of uh, a catalog, open air, of the capability of the craftsmen, but also as an important uh, uh, urban furniture for Florence, for example, 
uh, where we recognized uh, on the lower part uh, the balustrade of Piazzale Michelangelo, and the other one is the fence of the Cathedral of Florence. In 1907, with the development of the big steelworks of Piombino, the Folonic Iron Works became a casting foundry, with the blast furnace shut down and finally demolished in 1960. So we made attention uh, to increase the value of the artistic aspect as a real peculiarity of our production, as an element also very valuable in the processing of later centuries. The skill of craftsmen and workers was really very, very high, and it, this is as allowed to stay in excellence until the day of its closure. All the choices for the exhibition wanted to highlight this idea, decreeing a real transition between the artisan maestri of the past to those in the present. This is the most representative example of which it means. Past the foyer, visitors are greeted with a view of great space that was once occupied by the blast furnace restored recently. Originally, the space looked very different. It was a place of work dominated by an imposing centrally positioned blast furnace over with a chimney stood to release smoke gases as strong, strong noises. In effort to recreate this element, a poetic vision of the furnace has been created in the form of the central heart installation. The cascade of metallic strips uh, is uh, arranged as to recreate the exact dimension of the inner chamber of the furnace and the fuchsia's different materials to evoke the various stage, the various step of the smelting process. Temporary closure of the skylight signals the start a process that periodically transforms the installation. The room is filled with the unmistakable role that the ballast furnace and sculpture begins to glow. So, the museum's mission is twofold, is to exhibit and to communicate in the sense of being interactive and inclusive. The task to create a traditional exhibition center in which to preserve and showcase industrial heritage is not simply. It was also to help the Folonica community take possession of its local and territorial identity and build a new economy and new welfare revolving around it. But how we can realize this link, this relationship through the past and the future? Telling, telling many stories and using the modern devices of the video. Video is a fundamental medium for evocation, completing the message left unfinished by written word. Video number two, please. Esistono occhi capaci di raccontare la vita di un uomo. Ne rivelano il carattere, le ferite, i segreti di giovinezza. Esistono sguardi capaci di osservare e fissare il tempo, capaci di spiegare storie memorabili. Esistono mani capaci di mostrare il prestigio creativo di un lavoro intelligente e scrupoloso. Quelle mani, quegli occhi, quegli sguardi, li abbiamo uniti ai nostri per dar vita ad un'opera della quale tutti noi siamo autori, poeti, attori. E dove, come per un grande libro, lasceremo incisa l'immagine di una storia, di un luogo, il cui tempo si è conservato nel cuore di coloro che lo hanno ritrovato e raccontato. The hands of Giuliano Zacchini that work on the bench with a zenithal projection show us directly his work and capability. The voices and the faces representing the last generation of workers to have populated the Folonica foundry are one of the most touching exhibit. In a compelling corner, they emerge from the shadows of a time that is long gone, but are worse as vivid as ever 
vesting the magma with the legacy of their memory and the sacred value of working with your bare hands. But uh, we have, uh, we would like to tell other stories of ancient workers, and we haven't any witness, only the ancient documents and uh, that describe them. So we created the exhibit called Workers' Stories. This is a faithful reconstruction of one of the foundry's administrative offices with a series of folders uh, piled on, on the top where you can say the name of the worker, Luigi de Russo is one of them, employee number, job description, and payrolls. Take a file from a folder and place it on the, on the desk to bring those stories back to life. And this is another way to tell a story. Mi chiamo Tommaso Bellini e vengo da Bergamo. Lì sì che sanno fondere il ferro. E infatti io sono un maestro nel fare l'acciaio, non il ferraccio che fanno qui in Maremma. A Folonica hanno bisogno di gente esperta. Per questo mi hanno ingaggiato e mi pagano bene per fare il maestro di forno. Qui è in un villaggio vicino che si chiama Valpiana. Solo per questo ho lasciato le mie montagne per venire in questo posto infame, da dove bisogna fuggire appena arrivano i caldi dell'estate e con essi la malaria. Qui hanno grandi ambizioni, fare getti in ghisa, tanto che ci hanno ordinato stufe per il palazzo del Granduca a Firenze e strumenti di acciaio temprato. Soprattutto arrivano sempre persone nuove per lavorare nella fabbrica, gente di montagna, abituata a mangiare da un anno all'altro, polenta di castagne e che come me vede il mare per la prima volta. Ma io non sono uno dei tanti pezzenti in cerca di fortuna, io sono il maestro che conosce il segreto per trasformare quel sasso rossiccio che viene dall'elba in una lima o in un chiodo. Il fuoco è il mio elemento. Io so come governarlo e so anche che un giorno, se Dio vorrà, potrò ritornare sui miei monti dove le ferriere si trovano nelle vallate più fresche, dove in inverno cade tanta neve, ma in estate si sta bene e non c'è da temere l'aria cattiva. So the workers' stories tell uh, an important element for us, that is uh, the, our human resources. The arrival of people into Marema district in the 19th century was fundamental for the development of the iron works. The main migration flows came from the Tuscan Emilian happenings, in particular from Pistoia Mountains, which was a key source of manpower for the desolate Marema plants. But they arrived not only from there, also from Bergamo, Switzerland, and from, from Santo Domingo Republic. The first black man was a worker into the foundry. So this is an important concept that we would like to consider for the future. And around it, we have realized many exhibitions of contemporary art. The migrations are fundamental to create the so-called people of Olonica. No people is real native from there, and this is idea is often forgot. But uh, another important element in our, uh, in our story is the relationship with the community. Who are the characters of the video, like Tommaso Bellini that you have seen? People, people who live in Folonica and uh, who lent his space at our project. All this will be mingless, however, if it's not rooted in a new consciousness of local identity. Firming this conviction, the focus needs to be placed on the collective memory of the local community to ensure a link with identity and with the social interrelations of the past and the present. To put the pro this process on, the community needs to be engaged in both the preparatory stage and later in the production and startup stages. Thus, the museum is a form of inclusive particip participation, open to input and capable of enhancing its most pregnant aspects, giving them a voice. Community 
has created a relationship with us in another way. Uh, we have uh, uh, big rooms where the exhibit called The Ghost of Time Past. The room tells the collective stories of the community through significant literary accounts, contemporary travelers, historians, scholars, and modern writers. The backdrop to Dre words is given by a collage of images from public and private archives, from the cinema and from home movies, Super 8, for example, capturing two centuries of history in one great mosaic. In this way, we have sought not only to put a visitor at the center of the story, but to ensure that the story can be unchanged and enriched over time by the very, the very community who lives and breathes it. So, today, Today, we have, uh, uh, we have got a sensible community that appreciate the museum, work with it, and especially the cultural groups and the schools, the scholars, uh, are developing continuous relationship that show us how our mission has been respected. So, for example, uh, created a uh, uh, shows, theater theatrical shows, uh, or a book, a special book called Pop-Up, where all the um, excellence are represented. They have uh, worked there in the language, the literature. They have translated in French and English one the history of the Magma Museum. They have re realized a pop-up um, through the, uh, the hearts. And then there are many, many uh, moments where the child, the children are protagonists in our museum. Um, we have also, during the year, many uh, performances and uh, concert live uh, of music. And uh, so the uh, meeting where we would like to tell of work. So, uh, for example, is a, one of the most important uh, is in, on the 30 April, the, uh, the night before the 1st May, the so-called uh, the night of the uh, work uh, telling. And this is very important because uh, we are open all the night and we try to tell and uh, to describe the different type of work in the past and the present, and maybe for the future. So, museum today needed to be workshops, places where we can relate to the past using a contemporary approach that is inquiring, actively inclusive. Exhibitions need to engage visitors and drive them to get involved and find out more. By creating narratives, visitors are encouraged to come back and interact with each other. It was on these principles that we sought to develop a narrative that was open and discontinuous, just like the languages and the culture of our own age. Thus, alongside the traditional displays of exhibit, we have always inserted audiovisual devices, providing information or simply for effect. Where we, ha we have hoped for the effect, it's because we felt that uh, there was something to experience, some right. specific function of the factory machine that needed to be conveyed, but was impossible to put into words. It is time. The use of multimedia displays to provide information is a fundamental in a narrative approach such as this. Virtual spaces freeze up physical space, which thus become more contemplative and evocative. The use of multimedia opens up many different ways to explore the pieces, enabling importantly the development and updating of the issues themselves. Today, the concept of museum has changed radically. It has outgrown its purely exhibitive and contemplative role to become a place of lifelong learning, targeted at a much more diverse and much more demanding audience. 
Learning itself must include a highly interactive component if it's to capture interest and attention. What we expect today from institutions such as this, that they help bring us back in a different way to the center of an intercultural network of similar proportion by rebuilding significant ties, not only on the national scale, but also in the international level. It is with the spirit that we gaze to the three window in the installation called cast iron around the world in search of a common ground beyond our own borders for dialogue and exchange, while appreciating just how ahead of its time Folonica was on the world stage. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.